Josh, just for you guys, just from a confidence standpoint, going on the road and winning one like that, I mean, already a confident team, but how, how much more does it grow when you win one like you did Saturday? Uh, tremendously. Uh, that that's a big game there to go into to one of those those places right there to to come away with a victory is is really big. You know that that team plays extremely well. They're a good team anyway, but at home they're even better. You know, so to go in there and come out with a win just just keep keeps boosting our confidence and it's going to help us to be a better team in in the long run. So we just got to keep building off that confidence and continue to play as well as we're playing. Um, this, this season is we, we we're taking it one game at a time. You know we we can't look we can't look past anybody. You know uh, we we didn't start out too well, and we started taking it one game at a time, and now we're at the point of where we are now. So we're just looking one game ahead. I mean one game at a time, and our, our, all our focus right now is on Vandy and they're a really good team. They're a really good coaching staff, and we we got all our attention on them right now. So we got to come Saturday get prepared to fight. You have to tune out some of the buzz, whether it's social media or just kids on other students on campus. You have to tune some of that out, or tell them to put the brakes on. The <laughs> uh, nah, man, we, we, we kind of let them talk. You know what I mean? We that, that's what they they want to do. You know, we kind of tell we, we let them do what they want to do. You know, you just can't get too big headed into those type of things. You know, you gotta stay focused, stay stay uh, level headed. Uh, can't start getting too ahead of yourself when you start winning. You know, that's when teams kind of slip up because. No, we, we, we're hungry right now still, you know. We still got a lot to prove, and we're going to come out Saturday, and we're going to keep continuing to, to show what we've been working for all year and all summer. Josh, this game mean a little more to you personally, just because I guess you and Alex are the only few players who were here last time. You guys played in Andy? I'm old, yes. Yes, it does, because I was on the field when we lost. kind of sucks. I remember that game. It was a very long trip back, too. So, yeah, I got to – we gotta make sure I, I can come away at least one and one with those guys before I leave Auburn. You know, so I want that'll be a big win for us. You know, since I was the only guy who played, me and Alex was the only guys who was on the field then. So to get that one to be real big, you know, because I'm over one against those guys. It's not good. Do you know that Vandy leads the all-time series against y'all? Really? Yeah. Ah, I didn't know that. We gotta change that. It's okay. We're, we're, we're working hard, so we're, we're, we're gonna work hard for Saturday. We're gonna make sure we try to change that around a little bit. You know, so. Uh, I mean, to me, like like I said earlier, like every game, you know, I'm I'm just happy to be practicing, you know what I mean. So every game to me is is important, you know. Uh, it's a it's an audition. Every game to me is is fun to go out there and play. So, I mean, I'm gonna go out there and play my guts out like I do every every Saturday, you know, give them all, and hopefully I can do something special for my pops who probably will be here. So, you know, it'd be good for for them to come and watch stuff. Not at all. Uh, it was just some things kind of work out in your favor sometimes. You know, I've, I've been working hard. I've been I've been doing the little things that matter to keep my body right, doing the little things to get my body back in shape. And I'm in a great point in my life right now. I'm in probably the best shape, probably playing the best football I've I played since I've been at Auburn. So it, it, it's just paying off. You know, that, that hard work eventually pays off for you. So I'm just, it, I'm, 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 the, I'm the blessing of it, you know. Yeah, he has. He said he says um, the reason why he 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 has so much fun on the field and uh, and during game days is because this isn't hard. You know, when you're at when you're in war and you're doing military, that's hard. You know what I mean? So he tries to tell us like you can't come out here thinking that this is hard because. This is fun. This is supposed to be fun. You know what I mean? It's hard work, but it's not technically hard. You know what I mean? When you have real bullets flying at you and stuff like that, that he said, he kind of told us a few stories that he said he was kind of spooked and he was kind of, he was mad at himself for signing up for the military at some points. But he said that's what's really hard. So yeah, it's big for him. I'm sure I'm sure he'll probably give us a few stories this week since his military appreciation this week, uh, meant Veterans Day. So I'm sure he'll probably give us another few stories on that this week. Yeah. What do you think? Fading so many passes last week will help the secondary 
as you go in the latter part of the season. You got plenty of workout. Saturday. Yes, we did. He threw the ball 59 times, right? Yeah, that's just crazy. We don't throw that many times at practice. So, yeah, that's going to be good. I don't think we'll probably face anybody who throws the ball that much, hopefully. You know, if they do, it'll just be another test. But, yeah, that's that, that team there, they, they threw it around a little bit, and that was just a test for our secondary. And we got we got to get to the drum board. We got to try to get better each and every week. Josh, when you see the freshman receivers, you guys freshman receivers, and playing against them, how far have you seen them come over the course of this season? Uh, they, they're good. They're very good. Uh, uh Every one of them, three, 12, they're, they're, they're really good. They're going to be really good players. Uh, 12 is really getting a lot of action now, I know. Uh, they're they're going to be good. That whole core of uh, freshman receivers we have, they'll be really good. Josh, watching Sean make plays like he did Saturday, running for first downs, those things, what does that mean as a whole team? I know defensively you guys are focused on yourselves, but to see him play like that, what does it mean to you guys? Uh, it, it's big when you got a quarterback that's that's scrambling for third and third and eight. I want to say to to get first downs and he's sacrificing his body to keep jobs going. It, it, it's big, you know, because that's like the leader of the team almost. You know what I mean? So when he when when he's doing things like that, yeah, there's nothing but to feed off of that. You know what I mean? So he he he's playing really great right now, you know, and our run game is is helping him play even better. So. It's great to see him out there sacrificing his body to get those first drives to keep drives going. Cause I was happy when they seen him do that. Did you guys see this coming from Pat Boy? Uh, me personally, yes. Cause we used to have to tackle him on the scout team. Right. That that wasn't too fun. You know? And I see why he runs for 150 yards every game. Cause you don't want to tackle him every play. That's tough. You know, that's like a real train coming at you, and he doesn't slow down. So, I mean, I kind of seen it in him. I didn't know if he could do it every game, but he's doing it, and, and I'm proud of him. And I feel bad for everybody who has to face him. I'm glad he's on my team, and we don't have to tackle him anymore. <laughs> what do you see from Danny's offense? What do you see from Danny's offense? They're really good offense. You know, they want to kind of beat you up a little bit in the inside, try to wear you down a little bit. Uh, really good coaching staff, though, but they got really good players on that side of the ball. Uh, it's going to be another task. We're going to have to come out. And stop the run, of course. Uh, that's that's a weekend, week out, though, you know. So we're gonna have to come out and stop the run. Uh, it's gonna be one of those hard those games. Uh, this this kind of football we like, though, you know, uh, down there, down hills in the trenches. What, what'd you do that uh, ball you got after your touchdown? <laughs> uh, they kind of took it from me. I, I wish I could have been able to keep it a little bit, though. It was big, though. I wanted to keep it. <laughs> Oh man, I don't, I don't really know. I want to say it's just we're just silencing, silencing the crowds, you know. Especially on the way games, it was just people, people are talking, you know, so much. So we just try to the shush is just to keep them calm, you know. what I mean, keep calm and relax. So we're just trying to keep playing the best we playing, and at the end of the games, emotions <laughs> just all come out. So we're just having fun out there. Then. Justin, you know, last week Mom said like his, his last one. Oh man, it's big. That that was one of the things that kind of helped me want to come back to be able to help the defense be one of those ones where you talk about, you know what I'm saying, for time to time, for year to year. Like when we leave, I feel like we're going to be in those conversations with like those 2006 defenses where they was only holding people to, you know, 14 points maybe, you know what I mean? So that was big for me and for, for most of the seniors coming back. And it, it's just a trend that we got to keep going. We still got a few more games to to showcase what we can do, and we're going to try to do the best we can to, to keep that defense to the top-notch level that we're playing. Thanks, Josh. Oh, Eagle.